How's it sound? Dear Mr. Derringer, After mentioning this to you in passing, I wanted to send you this letter reminding you of my sincere desire for advancement. I believe I have a lot to offer. And in my current position, I will not be able to demonstrate my true potential. Plus, it's boring. Whenever you have time, I would love the opportunity to discuss my moving to the day shift at greater length. Sincerely, yada yada yada. How's that? There is an ideal we all live by, a pillar upon which all our collective hopes and aspirations are stacked, extending upwards towards a glorious future. We create symbols to give these ideals power, to remind us to look up, to look forward. Today I give you that symbol with an expectation of the greatness it will inspire. We must remain open to all things while still vigilant against the corruptive forces working around us. Let this symbol be our beacon through the long night and let it stand as a testimonial once we reach the light of the sun. Vegas. 
secret compound discovered. Inside the rat hole, sources say pornography, drugs everywhere. Zega almost certainly had other hiding spots. Even Derringer suggested as much to me the other night in a, uh, interview? I'm not printing this, of course. Makes him look bad. Makes them all look bad. You can't be perceived as having crack security when a crackpot is living in your walls rent-free. Settle down, children, settle down. I am as anxious as you are to acquaint myself with Miss Prideau. She is a most welcome addition to our republic. And to that end, I would like to present her and all of you with this small gift, a symbol of longevity and the relationships we look forward to watching take root. Thank you so much, Headmaster. As one who will be so singularly focused on the well-being of these young, bright minds, I am truly humbled. I cannot express how sincerely I am looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you. Zero. My pockets are full. some pepper spray. Welcome to my domain. See anything you like. Lower Fred's wrap away from the trolls. Monitor Fred's wrap patrol routes. Here's the on voicemail messages.
This is the girl's room. 390H. Of course, this isn't what she calls herself. Pyramid flags flutter in the wind. His voice carries above them, singing a promise to lead these men to honor, protect, and love them. From his garden perch, he keeps us secure against the forces of evil. He spares our minds the hollow allure and fraud of Zager's upheaval. The Republic stands and will for all time safe from ruin or disaster, because he is watching out for us all, our noble and wise headmaster. Three nine zero H. My dear, my inspiring pupil. I know you're not accustomed to gifts, but this is more than just some trinket. It is a secret between you and I, and it cannot be shared until we are both ready. So I will keep the key for safekeeping until the two of us agree to open it together. Until then, I hope you will treasure its beauty as much as I do you. And when you gaze upon it, I hope your thoughts will be of me. Hey, fishy. You hungry? Here you go. What does the world look like to you? Fishy, I'll tell you a secret. I like a boy who lives on the other hall. The one we call Weep. He sits beside me in history class and he's adorable. I'm too shy to talk to him. I'll hold on to this. Bring up the threat level. Thanks. You found me a good spot. There are few things, Librarian, as disappointing as failed leadership, especially when that leadership fails by giving in to mental illness or desire. Hawthorne came from a line of leaders, but you wouldn't know that by reading his account of Dimsdale. The Scarlet Letter would teach our citizens that its leadership can succumb to the weaknesses that we work daily to cure. Such doubt is unacceptable. Where would we be without faith in government? Thank you. 
take a move. I hope they can't see me here. Look what your arrogance has wrought. You are destroying the things that make your life meaningful. You are doing this to yourself. And unless you tell me where you have hidden that manifesto, I will accelerate that which you have already chosen to inflict upon yourself. Please, Rack, take this precal to confinement. one of the tech crews to run a full diagnostic of the metal detectors in the facility. But I want you to oversee the work on your station personally. There are too many potential hiccups that could be had in the commissary. And with the arrival approaching so quickly, I'm looking to you to shore up the weakest link. If you need any additional resources, you let me know. <laughs> 